Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to use velocity in Sony Vegas. Um, basically, velocity is there to slow mo your clips or to make it faster. And this looks much better than normal slow motion in Vegas. Um, yeah, basically, the first thing you should do is like always go to properties and disable resampling. But another thing you should do is um, press select your clip, press U on your keyboard, and then delete the uh, sound because when you slow mo with velocity the sound won't be slow mo too um, so you should render out um, gunshot sound and then you can put it in later so basically when you have normal slow motion uh, you split your clip and, the uh, and then drag this out but the um, yeah, that's quite okay but the bad thing on this is that on this part it's normal speed and then it directly becomes slow motion yeah, get slow mode. Um, yeah, I don't really like that. So for that, you can use velocity. So to, um, if you want to enable velocity, then right click on your clip, go to insert, remove, envelop, and then velocity. Then you will get this green line. Basically, this green line is the speed of your clip. If you drag this down to maybe 31, you will have slow motion. And if you yeah, set this to normal velocity, 100, then it will be normal speed, and if you drag it up, it will be faster. So that's not all, because yeah, that would, would be the same. So to make it like slowly become slow motion, then go to yeah, let's say we want slow motion after the last shot. Then you make a you double click here, then you get will get this point. Then you go forward a few frames. Let's say to here make another point and then drag this down to maybe 45 you shouldn't drag this down too much because then the slow motion will become bad and it will look shit so yeah <laughs> um, for that for bad slow motion maybe 1% or 3% you should use trickster so let's preview this <coughs> so basically here it's normal speed and then it becomes slow motion um, yeah if you want to synchronize your shots now um, that's quite easy to do I already have prepared something um, yeah you should always put your markers in and then put your gun shots in so you see this is the clip I will delete the audio now but I already have some gun shots here and I synchronize, uh, synchronize it to the music by the way, you can add these markers by pressing M on your key, um, keyboard. So, yeah. The first thing you should do is find the spot where... Uh, yeah, of your first shot. And then split the clip. That make this a bit shorter. So, then bring this to the um, sync point And drag this out again. So, um, no, don't drag this out again. Hold on, bring this back. So, yeah, um, basically, yeah, I want slow motion before the first shot, and then when the first shot was, um, on, a, let's say, um, it's normal speed, and after the shot, it's slow motion. So, go to, um, yeah, velocity, and that and maybe even make it faster when the first shot was taken so double click here go to the go back and drag this up to maybe yeah 200 so it's faster now so and then here you go to velocity again <coughs> hold on and here I want it to be slow motion um, so I bring this down to yeah maybe yeah 45 percent again. So basically it's fast here and then it uh, becomes slow motion. And then on this shot I wanted um, on the second shot you um, split your clip again. Oh no you don't even have to split it I think. And then go f go one keyframe uh, to the left and double click it. 
and go to your um, sinking point again and drag this up to the uh, this second point up uh, so you can see the that the shot was taken so I think that's right here and then <coughs> split your clip again and bring this down to 45 again so then you basically repeat this and with every single shot and yeah I will stop the video now and show you the final result so yeah um, this is what the final thing looks like I will render this out and put this at the end of the video please remember to like and yeah it would be nice if you could comment on what tutorial you want next so yeah bye